real estate market in 2022 was crazy. It was like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. A complete frenzy in the beginning, then it quickly came to a halt. Let's take a deep dive into last year's San Francisco real estate market. This is your first time to the channel. Welcome and thank you for joining us. I upload videos all about San Francisco real estate as well as what it's like to eat, sleep, work, play, and live in the city. Smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content. Now, let's break down 2022. 2022 picked up right where 2021 left off, which most would compare to the wild, wild west. Homes would go to the market on Thursday, and by the following week, multiple offers would have been received, and it would be pending. Homes continued to sell well over the asking price. We even seen homes sell for close to a million dollars over the asking price in some cases. Then we saw interest rates shoot up at a pace we had never seen before, reaching 20-year highs and completely cooling off the market. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room interest rates and inflation. Inflation started off in January at 7.5% and by June it had got up to 9.1%. So the Fed raised rates to combat the increase in inflation. Everything in life had increased in cost at this point, not just the interest rates. The good news is that we saw change starting to happen by the end of the year and inflation had came down to 6.5% by December. The 30-year fixed mortgage went from 3% at the start of the year to just over 7% in November. This drastic increase caused a lot of buyers to take a step back and really think about whether or not they wanted to buy and or if they could still afford to. By the end of the year, mortgage rates did start to come down and as of January 5th, 2023, they were just under 6.5%. Also worth noting is that stocks took a major hit. From the opening bell in January to the closing bell, the S&P 500 fell 19%. The NASDAQ Composite Index fell 33%. Lots of money had been lost. It was the combination of these three things which caused a major change in the market midway through the year. How many of you out there decided to take a step back from the buying process when all this happened? How many of you actually invest in the stock market? Drop it in the comments and let me know, I'm curious to see. Okay, let's take a look at the sales volume. Overall sales volume for the year was a little over 5,700. While the sales volume did drop, these numbers are very similar to 2020 and the pre-pandemic market of 2019. When we take a look at the higher price markets, single family homes, 3 million and up, and condos 2 million and up, sales volume for both peaked in quarter two. However, by the last two quarters of the year, that sales volume had cut in half. Single family homes saw a 1% decrease in median sales price year over year, going from 1.8 million in 2021 to 1.78 million in 2022. They hit their peak in quarter two of 2022, just before the interest rates went up when the median sales price rose to 2 million. By December, that number dropped to 1.6 million, giving us the average of 1.78 million that I mentioned just a moment ago. The condo market saw a 2% decrease in median sales price year over year, going from 1.22 million down to 1.2 million. It also hit its peak in the second quarter, maxing out at 1.3 million prior to the rate increase, and then dropping to about 1.1 million by the end of the year. For the first half of 2022, over 80% of single family homes were selling over the list price, peaking at 87%. By the end of the year, that number was down to 57%, which is the lowest that we've seen in the last four years. The condo market peaked out in quarter two with 60% of condos selling over the list price. And by the end of the year, that number had cut in half to 30%. That too was also the lowest number that we've seen for condos in the last four years. When we look at sales price versus list price, we see that single family homes were absolutely on fire during the first half of the year with homes selling on average for 20% more than the listing price. When the interest rates changed, that number progressively dropped and by the end of the year, it was only at 3% above the listing price. Condos were getting 5% more than the listing price during the first half of the year, but by the end of the year, that number had dropped to 3% below the listing price. One thing we have to keep in mind with this particular status that there were agents who listed homes well below the true market value of the home in order to generate lots of activity with the hopes of getting multiple offers. We can't account for those particular situations, but all in all, homes were selling well above the asking price during the first two quarters. When it comes to days on market, single family homes stayed around the two week mark for the first two quarters. At one point, it was even as low as 12 days. It was in the third quarter when it finally got above 20 days and then ended the year with an average a little over 30 days. The condo market was right around the 40 day mark towards the first half of 2022 and in the beginning it even got as high as 51 days on market before it finally decided to drop in the spring. It quickly got back up to about 50 days towards the end of the year and at its low point it even hit 66 days during one month's time. Single family homes have put up a pretty good fight through all of it even though overall home values have dropped slightly. They are still selling in 30 or so days and a little more than half of them are still selling at an average of 3% above the listing price. Condos have definitely been hit the hardest, specifically 
specifically those in San Francisco's greater downtown area. These areas include the Financial District, Soma, Van Ness Civic Center, Urban Buena, Mission Bay, and South Beach markets. And to be honest, there's still some really good opportunities to snag an amazing deal in those areas. The 2022 real estate market looks very similar to the 2019 market when all said and done, which was a more normalized market. Homes still sold, but nothing like what we were seeing in 2021, and the early part of 2022. Being that the post-pandemic market was such an abnormal market, it's difficult to compare 2022 to 2021. And realistically, they're nothing alike. It's no secret that the drastic changes that we saw in 2022 has quite a few people throwing around the word recession. But I think what's to come will be heavily dependent on what happens with inflation and interest rates. What are your thoughts on the current market and what do you think is gonna happen this year? Drop it in the comments as I'm curious to see what you all think. Hit that like button if you thought the info in this video was valuable. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up on all the latest content. See you in the next video.